I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video and as you can see today I'm already driving to work it's slightly later than my start yesterday it's, le it's just less than nine o'clock in the morning and I haven't even transferred yesterday's files off of my phone onto my laptop to begin editing so I'm mixing up yesterday and today's content so fingers crossed the edit of yesterday's vlog came out well and you enjoyed it today is the announcement of the Audi Goodwood competition the Audi selfie most creative Audi selfie competition so I'm headed to SB it's gonna be a day in the office and hopefully we can fit some supercars in as well here there and everywhere but my main aim for today is to announce the winner of the Goodwood selfie competition I've made it into the office. You can hear there's some cars. You can hear from next door there's a lot going on in terms of the restoration side of SB at the moment. Barry's downstairs working away on the 599, I think the 599, 599 and 430. And I am going to get all of the screenshots of the selfies, put them into a folder, get picking. Get. This is currently what I'm doing. Editing the video at quarter to ten. I'm nine minutes through. Talking about the Cardip UK products. <laughs> I'm listening to myself, which is the worst bit about editing. The competition process has begun. I am on hashtag Supercars of London and scrolling through trying to find the selfies and entry competition uh, competition entries and I've completely forgotten that there is uh, here we go is one I found one so I need to screenshot all of them collect them all together and then it is a case of scrolling through and trying to pick the most creative Audi selfie um, and obviously the hashtag supercars of London and at Audi UK must be in it um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. The video is on the internet and will be uploaded at 5 p.m. Um, and I'm just trying to scroll through and try and find as many selfies as I can. I will include all of them. They may not all feature in the vlog, but I can assure you that I am um, very, very carefully going through Instagram and Twitter to make sure that every single entry is in and everyone has a fair chance of winning. Now, I didn't say that um, there was only one entry per Twitter or Instagram, so you could have uploaded as many times as you wanted. Um, and I also didn't say that it was either Twitter or Instagram. So if you have it uploaded to Twitter and Instagram, then there's double the chance that you could be um, heading to Goodwood on the Sunday. So um, I'm gonna crack on. The problem is I can't do two things at once, so I'm either holding my phone or scrolling through Instagram. So the next thing you'll see is me flicking through all of the entrants, and then it's sort of down to me, which I feel like there's a lot of responsibility and a big weight on my shoulders to work out the winner of the Goodwood competition. But here we go, good luck. Right, we have got lots and lots of crazy selfies. Let me know, comment below whether you've seen yourself, seen your selfie in this. This is just the Twitter and then we move on to Instagram. In so now my job is to work out the most creative selfie that we have. Now, some of them are interior shots, which uh, this is an S8, there's an S3, and an A4 Cabriolet, it's in a Mark 1 TT. So there's some cool cars. Like I said, it doesn't have to be supercars. I'm not even sure what Audi that is. All I can see is the four rings. Um, what's that? An A4 with a pretty cool view, actually. I don't know whether you can see that. Can you see that? Awesome view from A4 Mikey. Um, and this one here is definitely a contender. This is someone who has seen a Bugatti Veyron and Rolls Royce in London, then seen an Audi R8 drive around the corner and decided to take a selfie of both of them. And this is the sort of thinking that I sometimes have and has happened when, for example, when we were in the uh, European drive and Tim was power sliding around that corner. 
I thought it'd be a good time to take a selfie. So it's all about the creative mind. When's a good time to take a selfie? Definitely a contender, Rowan Drake. This is also a very, very good selfie. A RS5 and a S1. This is a uh, very interesting entry. Someone has obviously dressed up as a dog or a cat. Apparently it's a cat based on the other tweet, more of the cat. Interesting selfie, very creative. This is obviously, obviously um, a dealership selfie, which is, um, this is by far the selfie with the most Audis in. And I feel like there's so much pressure on me to pick a winner. I've managed to narrow it down. We have four entries. We have got the cat and the Audi because I think the lengths that Chris Quick Wheels has gone to to actually dress up like that and try and find an Audi to have a selfie with is not only creative, it's ballsy, and he's in somewhere in the public dressed as a cat, which I think is creative enough. We also have Joe Coade. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, so sorry, Joe. But this is, a, this is um, definitely a creative selfie. He obviously um, has thought... What better way of having a selfie with an Audi than watching a Supercars of London video? He hasn't even left his house. That's creative, efficient, and also um, saving his energy for something else. We've obviously got Rowan underscore Drake here, who has taken a selfie of an Audi driving past the Bugatti Veyron in London, which shows the epitome of selfie skills while supercar spotting, which is the whole roots of the Supercars of London YouTube channel. And we've also got A4 Mikey, because I think that setting is absolutely stunning. I'm not sure where it is. It doesn't say. But it's awesome. And he's also got a black Audi badge, which is um, very creative. These are the four finalists, I'd say. So, unfortunately, that is um, for everyone else that took part. Thank you very much um, for your entries and your selfies. They were all great, and I had a lot of fun sifting through them, finding them, and also checking them out. So, um, it's now down to these four. So, after much deliberation, and I feel like a weight has slightly off my shoulders, all of the entrants were fantastic and I can't thank everyone enough who has entered into this competition to win tickets to Goodwood. I can now announce that the winner of the Goodwood competition to come on Sunday with a plus one, free lunch and Audi VIP access is Rowan underscore Drake on Instagram. I think that, well, one, the fact that the Bugatti is technically in the VAG group, the same as Audi, so it's keeping it within the brand, but also uh, the audacious attempt and nailing the attempt of taking a selfie whilst the R8 is driving past. He could have easily missed the selfie opportunity and then that would have left him with no entry, but he absolutely nailed it. The selfie is literally super crisp. So I have to say, well done, Rowan. I will be messaging you. And um, thank you to all of the entrants. I mean, what a fantastic and short competition. The most creative Audi selfie and Rowan has won after Quite a ballsy selfie, um, and he's taken that opportunity, and he's nailed it. A Bugatti Veyron and an Audi R8 in the selfie in central London whilst car spotting. So there we go. That is the competition finished, over, done. And um, now it is a case of getting back to work, sorting out my emails, and I'll be heading to lunch um, in about an hour as well. So today I'm just going to be in the office, and I'm going to be doing a lot of work here um, because I just... <laughs> haven't had the opportunity to do so for such a long time. I'm going to take full advantage and get prepared for the rest of the weeks um, that are coming up before I head over to Portugal and have some chill out time with my family. Right, I'm currently en route to pick up McDonald's for everyone at SB. Now, I know that it's tempting to do McDonald's roulette the whole way around, but as you can see, I'm driving Stuart's car today. He's, um, He's doing me a favour, there's no number plates on my car, so I'm driving his car to get the McDonald's and his is an A4 2 litre turbo estate. Just hit the most amount of traffic. This road is um, quite long and the traffic is only ever like this and it's time to go home. So, either everyone's got the same idea as me or I don't understand what the hell is going on. The other reason why I didn't particularly want to do a McDonald's roulette was because I'm buying for four people and that has come to 30 quid. 
I've never spent 30 quid in McDonald's, but I'm not spending it anyway, but I'm just saying. 30 quid is quite a large bill. I think there's four main large meals and just loads and loads of sides, so just waiting now for it all to be cooked. That is how much McDonald's is going to SB. I'm like the delivery man, and yep, that water is mine. I'm having to be super careful. This is the um, A4 Black Edition S Line. It's a very highly spec car, and it's got the RS6 wheels, so I don't want to curb them. Right, home time. I've got to cross the road. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, tripping up over the uh, over the pavement, <laughs> as you can tell. It's oh, door hitting my shoulder. Try and head off now. It's so warm in here, which is just going to make me even more tired. How much sleep did I get last night? Well, I went to the gym, got in about midnight, got up at eight, but it was, it's catching up on me from the few days before. But now I'm probably gonna get stuck in traffic for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna have to have the window down to keep me awake. So we are skipping now an hour and a half, I think. It's still light outside, as you can tell. And um, I also haven't changed um, since leaving work. There's not going to be any sort of cliffhanger on what we're going to get for dinner tonight. I think I'm going to end the vlog now because I need to get planning Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. The sad news is that my exhaust is coming off my car on the Sunday daytime, even though I'm at Goodwoods. I'm not going to be able to film the last ever time my car gets started up with the Army Tricks exhaust system, which isn't the end of the world because there's going to be a tribute to the Army Tricks exhaust system, but also the tribute to the car of 10 things I love about the RA, that's what it's going to be called. Um, and then on the Monday and the Tuesday I'm heading over to Essex and then back down south to meet up with Ben from Aspect Valeting. So he can work his magic on the exterior and interior of the car but there's loads of stuff happening in the next week and a half that I've got to get through that is to do with the preparation of the sale of my car but also preparation of the YouTube channel to make sure that there's videos on the Supercars London YouTube channel whilst I'm out in Portugal and tomorrow you would have seen from Instagram and Twitter already um, what a lot of fun I am going to be having over the next few days going down to Goodwood in the unbelievable Audi R8 V10 Spider. So it's the first time I've mentioned it on YouTube but not the first time that it's been out on social media so bring on the nice weather, the sun and um, I'm quite nervous about driving a convertible. There will be a separate video of um, the awkwardness of driving a convertible car. But that is to come. Thanks for watching guys and showing so much support for the daily vlogs. Uh, my statistics on YouTube are going through the roof at the moment, which is insane. Never experienced anything like it. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks guys. We had a successful meeting, always a GTR. Yeah. Good spot. Right, yeah, we're gonna wander around and just um, have a look in the pit lane and then get a 